Okay, so in this problem we have to determine if the series converges or diverges. Um, it appears that the limit comparison test might be an easy route. So the limit comparison test uh, says if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n over b sub n, and this limit is finite and positive, then the sum of the a's will behave the same as the sum of the b's. In other words, if you add up all of these and it converges, then if you add up all of the b's, it also converges. And that should make sense because if this limit is finite and positive, that would indicate that the a's and the b's basically have the same growth rate. So in this case, uh, what we do is we call this piece here a sub n. And to find b sub n, you could basically just compare it to something that has the same growth rate. Well, if you think about it, the ones don't really matter. Um, n here is going to get really, really big. So adding one to a million <laughs> is not going to make a big deal. So you can drop the ones and just basically look at the leading terms. Most of the time, um, this is what you can do to find your b. You just look at the leading terms. This is really two fifths to the n as well. You could think of it that way. So now let's take the limit and verify that we can actually use limit comparison. We need to actually take this limit first and verify that it's finite and positive. So limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n, which is 2 to the n plus 1 over 5 to the n plus 1. Then we're dividing it by b sub n. So when you divide by b sub n, you multiply by the reciprocal. So times 5 to the n over 2 to the n. And you can see here, just using intuition, that the leading terms are the same. So this is 2 to the n times 5 to the n up top. On the bottom, it's also 2 to the n times 5 to the n. So this limit should be equal to 1, which is finite and positive. So and positive. So this means we can use the limit comparison test. So I'll just say LCT, limit comparison test, applies. So what does that mean? It means that if we add up all of these and the answer is a convergent series, then um, this one converges also by limit comparison. If these diverge, then our original series will also diverge. So let's look at that series. So we're going from 1 to infinity. And I'm going to write it with the 2 fifths to the n because that's a little more beneficial. And the reason it's more beneficial is because now you can see that this is a geometric series. So here, r is equal to 2 over 5. And that's less than 1 in absolute value. It's positive, so it doesn't matter that we put an absolute value. So it's less than 1. So this converges by the geometric series test, so by the GST. This means that our original series also converges by limit comparison. So thus, our original, so I'll say OG, OG means original, our original series converges by the limit comparison test. So. Uh, Pretty standard problem, uh, pretty standard limit comparison test problem. Um, limit comparison test is useful when you want to use direct comparison, but like it's too hard to create the inequality. So it'll always work uh, whenever direct comparison works. And um, it's just more writing, right? You have to take this limit. You have to say it's finite and positive. So LCT applies. Then you have to explain what happens to this sum. If this converges, then our original series converges. If it diverges, then our original series diverges. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.